Welcome tiny adventurers to Grounded. We're going to explore a lab that's been mostly destroyed due to some terrible yard maintenance. I'm talking about the Stump Lab Outpost, which is located to the far northeast of the upper yard. This is a small optional lab that was introduced with the release of 1.0. There are a few steps to get into the Stump Lab. First, put your diving gear on and swim back down to where the Pond Lab Dome is. You'll notice a small outpost nearby. Swim up to this hatch and it will open up for you automatically. Inside this outpost is some raw science and a door that will only open if you have the assistant manager keycard that you got from the Black Ant Hill Lab. Inside the main room of this outpost is a few upgrade materials, a chest with the left elf charm accessory, which has a chance to automatically repair your shield when you block, and a button that unlocks the Stump Lab outpost. Now we can head to the Stump Lab. If you go to the middle of the stump, you'll find a hallway tilted on its side. The lab entrance is on top, and it's the one we just unlocked. The entrance is a long way down. For this lab, make sure to bring a dandelion tuft and a torch with you. I got the science. Once inside, you're now going to face some jumping puzzles and probably some frustrating camera angles. At the bottom of the first room is the door you need to unlock to get to Burgle's auxiliary chip. To unlock it, there's a terminal in another room. To reach it, you're going to need to climb back up. Before doing that, there's a couple things to collect here. At the bottom of this room is a recipe to craft the Orchid Mantis Kebab. If you plan on fighting the Mantis, remember to pick this up. About halfway up this room, there's a small area with a treasure chest. This contains the right elf charm accessory, which has a chance to automatically repair your weapon when you hit an enemy. Now, let me show you how to get from the bottom all the way to the top in one go. Once you reach the top, there's a milk molar waiting for you there. If you drop down into the second room, you'll find the terminal that unlocks the door back in the first room. Now we need to get back to the first room with some more jumping puzzles. Let me show you how to do it. Once you drop down through the unlocked door, the next room will have Burgle's auxiliary chip and some supreme quartzite. To leave this lab, go through the hole where you see the raw science. You'll find yourself in a small cave with some supreme marble and the way out. This part isn't so much of a jumping puzzle as it is a climb to the top that you can basically muscle your way through. Just in case, here's a quick demo on how to get out.
And that completes the Stump Lab Outpost. After returning the chip to Burgle, you can now unlock new recipes that allow you to upgrade your equipment to the maximum. The Sturdy Upgrades allows you to build sturdy upgrade materials a lot easier. The Mighty Jewel unlocks the ability to craft Supreme Whetstones, Supreme Plating, and the Mighty Jewel, which are all required to upgrade items past level 7. The Flavor Jewels is required to upgrade flavored weapons past level 7. And you also unlock Ash Cement, which basically allows you to build cement flooring for your bases. You can now upgrade your items to level 9, making your equipment as strong as possible. All the items required to do this are rare, so make sure you upgrade the right equipment for the final encounters. If you're having trouble finding twinkling shells for the mighty jewels, don't forget about the large group of scarabs you can find in the Undershed. For more on that, check out my Undershed Lab video at around the 5 minute 30 mark. One last thing. After picking up those elf charm accessories, you learned how to make Sarah's Charm. This combines both accessories together and gives a chance to repair both when blocking and when attacking. In order to craft this, you'll need some pond moss. You can get this as a rare drop from killing spiny water fleas, or you can gather this from the undershed, around the stump, or in the lake by the castle Moldark playset. However, you'll need a Black Widow Fang in order to gather it, which means you'll have to fight some Black Widow spiders for the crafting materials. It all depends on how badly you want this accessory. With everything we got today, we should be able to gear ourselves up for the game's toughest encounters. I hope you're ready to bash some heads. I'll see you next time.